Hi everyone. Today I have a special video for us. I get asked all the time where I find my mini makeup and most often my response is that I snag these in different gifts with purchase events. However, once those events pass, it's often hard to find these. So for those of you who are still interested in finding this tiny makeup, I have a solution. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to make your very own mini makeup kit. Be sure to watch until the end of this video because at the end, I'll provide some details for a giveaway where I will provide five lucky viewers with little mini makeup care packages so they can create their own mini makeup too. So I'm Jo, otherwise known as The Little Bean on Instagram, TikTok, and now here on YouTube. I started this channel in order to provide more in-depth reviews on my bags, as well as sharing more of my bag collection, and also share my love for all things beauty. So if you follow my social media platforms, you'll have seen that I just recently posted a video showing how I made these little mini makeup pieces um, and filled them in my adorable Dagny Dover backpack. So I wanted this video to provide more in-depth details on where I got these items and some tips and tricks as well for how to actually fill them and lessons learned that I had when I was putting together that content. So let's start out with these very cute lip gloss and concealer cases. So these come in a little empty canister that looks like this and it has a little doe foot applicator on the inside. They are the same size as my super tiny Laura Mercier concealer. So I got these cases as well as all the other ones that I'll show today off of Amazon. So I'll be sure to link everything below. This came in a pack of, oh goodness, I don't even know how many, 20, 25. It came with a lot of them. And I would say overall, that's the only drawback of trying to do this is that Amazon isn't going to sell one of these little cases. You're gonna to have to buy in bulk. So let's talk about how to fill each individual one. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself another lip gloss. So honestly, the hardest part of everything is finding the right tool to extract the makeup out of the bottles, especially the lip gloss and the concealer were by far the hardest. So this specific set came with these little squeezy pipettes. Those were very difficult to use. They weren't necessarily effective on the more viscous type liquids such as the lip gloss. I would say basically any tool that you use is gonna be a one-time use. Um, and I would much rather use something that looks more like um, a syringe that would be able to do it in a cleaner manner. So I also happened to find these wisdom teeth uh, syringes. But what I found was when I tried doing this, um, the tip here was so long that there wasn't enough ability for the suction to pull uh, the lip gloss out um, of the tube. So I ended up cutting the tip like this. And this actually does do a good job, which I'll show in a minute. I also ended up finding that I had a one milliliter syringe. This I think is actually the optimum choice um, to do this because um, it's very slim, so it will fit into um, the top of the lip gloss um, container with no issue. And also um, it will have the right amount of suction. Um, the only reason I'm not gonna use this one today to illustrate is because I used this for the concealer and it's filthy right now. For now though, I'm going to use another one of these um, larger ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in here. And I'm going to pull some of the lip gloss out. Then we're gonna stick it in the tube. I do find too sometimes um, the top can get clogged and you gotta use like a q-tip just to open it up again there. Okay so here is my filled container and something else that I figured out after I finished my reel was that um, the set actually came with these little stoppers and if you don't put the stopper in when you put 
when you put the doe foot in and out, it gets really, really messy. So I would def definitely recommend after you fill it that you put the stopper on and you just squeeze it down like that. So now when you stick the brush in, um, it'll be able to pull some of that excess slip gloss off. And there you have it. Now I have multiple shades for my mini bags. So one other thing to note, these are refillable, but as I showed, we put that little cover on right here. So you will need something like a pair of tweezers or pliers to pull that top off in order to put more product back in because the hole is pretty small after you put that little stopper in. So for the concealer, I had used a um, Fenty Beauty concealer that I had. Um, but I would say any concealer you use, just definitely focus on the ones that are a little runnier. So my other favorite is um, my Dior concealer. And this one is, is pretty runny. Um, it's pretty liquidy. So I think this would be another good candidate because um, the... Uh, syringe is going to be able to pull that product up pretty well if it's a runnier product versus one that's like a thicker a thicker concealer. So next on the list is a mini foundation. So these bottles were also from Amazon and they were sold or advertised to be more um, like mini essential oils holders. So they have the little dropper in here. So again, this is best suited for a foundation that has a runnier consistency to it. Um, so for uh, the video and for making this, I used my House Labs foundation. Um, it was a great pick. Let me give you some size comparisons here. It is so tiny. Here's my new favorite obsession, my Burt's Bees mini chapstick. Um, so yeah, this little foundation is tiny. So for these bottles, uh, filling them is actually pretty easy because the opening is rather wide. So in this case, I was able to just go ahead and pump the foundation directly into the bottle with no issue. You could use a syringe as well, but I really don't think that's necessary, especially if you have a pump applicator on your foundation. So another use I found for this bottle is for hair oil. Um, I know for me during the day, my hair is very color treated and the tips can get really dry. Or, you know, if I'm out and it's super humid and my hair feels frizzy, it's just nice to have hair oil on me. Again, there's a nice pump here and I was able just to pump it in with no issues. I think another great use for this besides if people use essential oils um, would be cuticle oil. That would be really good for your nails and whatnot. So that would be another great use for this bottle. All right, another favorite of mine is this little mini roller ball um, that you can use uh, with perfume for your wrists or behind your ears. I absolutely love this. Again, for a quick size comparison, it's so tiny, look at that. It makes my Burt's Bees look giant. So, so cute. Um, and honestly, I mean, I bet this perfume would last a, a long time. Uh, so this one was a little difficult because when I got the empty one, I had the hardest time getting the stopper off. So I ended up having to use a pair of pliers and I would um, put it like this and just pop it off. Um, so just a note, um, if you do get one of these or you do buy these sets, um, you're going to need something to pop the top off of it. Um, the ones that I'm going to be providing, I already went ahead and pulled them off for people so that it would be easier. So something I found though, was that I didn't have many perfumes that had an opening where you could take the perfume out. Most of them have, um, you know, the spray top and they're sealed on tight, but I had all of these really cute minis that I've gotten from Dior over time. And to be honest, I never use these. They're super cute. So sometimes they make it into my content, but 
Um, I think that the shape of these is still a little impractical, right? It's adorable, but like it takes up a lot of room. Um, it's kind of blocky and I don't really need this much perfume to be taken with me. Um, so I decided to go ahead and use these. So I'll say the first challenge with this was taking off the top. I spent probably a solid five minutes trying to wrench the top off of this little mini perfume. You guys, it's a twisty top. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so um, the next thing I thought was, oh, okay, so I'll use a funnel and I'll just go ahead and pour this out. But nope. I don't know what kind of evil science this is, what physics this is, but it doesn't come out in that way. So in this case, the Wisdom Tooth Syringe was the winner for me because it did actually have the really, really skinny um, bottleneck. So it was able to be put right in there and I could syringe it out. And that is how I got it into this little tube here. Next, I'll show you the mini eyeshadows. I got these little eyeshadow cases for singles on Amazon. And I ended up going ahead and just buying a single eyeshadow off of Amazon as well. But I know that you can often depot, you know, eyeshadow palettes that you may already have. I just didn't happen to have any that were this specific size. So I got lazy and I went ahead and bought one. But what's really wonderful about it is there's this little magnet at the bottom. And so it will just snap into place. Um, and if you can see here, there's a little edge. So if you wanted to change it out, it will just pop out as well. And I just love how small and compact it is, which makes it easy for traveling. All right, and the last two I have are these little mini perfume sprays or little mini spray canisters. So I have one that, as you can see from my slightly serial killer looking handwriting is the rare beauty setting spray and this one is the sol de janeiro body mist um, so i did go ahead and actually buy labels as well from amazon because you know without them these two liquids look pretty similar so it would be pretty hard to um, differentiate and that was something that you know i don't want to confuse so um, i went ahead and did that these um aren't sticking that well though. So I would say um, I will probably end up taping them on um, with scotch tape or something. It's going to look, you know, a little jerry-rigged, but it will serve its purpose. So just for a size comparison, these ones are larger in capacity than, um, you know, your normal perfume spray, which is kind of nice. Uh, it has a top as well. And um, so far in the testing that I've done, these are pretty leak proof, so I haven't had to worry about that either. So again, this is another one where I did use pliers to pop the top off of it. I don't believe this one was a twisty. I had learned my lesson with that. Um, but you did have to have something strong to pop the top off of it because it does have some grooves to make sure it locks into place and it doesn't leak. For these, I did end up using a mini funnel, which did come in handy. This came um, with one of the sets that I had. Otherwise, these are pretty cheap and you can find them um, on Amazon as well. All right, so those are all the mini makeup products that I made. Um, I'm gonna pop them back into this little coach pouch. I don't know what this is called. I bought it off of Mercury from um, a seller that sells authentic items, but it was just labeled a mini cosmetics case and it fits a surprising amount. So I'll probably be doing a mini what's in my bag with this cutie soon. But again, so I have my perfume, my hair oil, my mini foundation, concealer, two other lippies, my eyeshadow, body mist and setting spray and all of it fits nicely in there and then we're good to go how cute is that 
So that wraps up this video, but as promised, as I mentioned, I did create these little packets um, that I plan to give away to some of you. So just so you can see what's inside, first off, I get questions all the time on where I find my mini Ziploc bags. So I haven't really been able to find the super tiny ones that I use in my videos other than the ones that are sold from the little kids real littles backpack set um, but i did find this size which i believe is called the a9 size and it's a little bigger but it would still fit in most slgs um, so i ended up putting all of the minis in here um, so you could use it to carry these specific minis or you can use this ziploc for other things um, so I have three of the little doe foot containers. Um, and again, I already unscrewed them. I have the stoppers on there, but I didn't press them all the way down so that it would be able to pull up easily for people when they fill it. Same with the roller ball. I did not push it all the way down so that it would pop off easily. Then you have two of these um, dropper containers and one of the perfume or liquid sprays. So I'll be sure to provide one or two of these disposable syringes as well to help you uh, with filling some of these bottles. So for those who are interested in the giveaway, I just have a few things to note. First off, this is not sponsored by any brands. It's not sponsored or in collaboration with YouTube or anyone else. This is just me wanting to gift a few items to you guys and as a thank you for watching my videos. Also, um, for this giveaway, I am restricting it to US residents only. And finally, I'll just run through just some of the quick things I'll have you do in order to enter the giveaway. First off, I'd like you to like and subscribe to my channel as well as click the notification button so that you'll be notified of my future content. Secondly, um, I'd like you to comment below and let me know which of these bottles is your favorite and what product you would fill them with. And then finally, within that comment, please include your Instagram handle so that I can have a way to get a hold of you. So this giveaway will remain open for a week and I will select five winners at random on the 3rd of August. And I will contact those winners via DM on Instagram. Um, so I will make sure to include my exact handle in the comments below. So if you do receive any DMs about this giveaway, please make sure uh, that it is from my specific account. And please note, I will never ask for any payment information or any type of um, credit card data. I will just be asking for an address so that I can send you your gift. I'll be sure to include all of these directions in my description below as well. Let me know too, if this would be something that you'd be interested in purchasing. I'm toying with the idea of starting to make some of these packets and just selling them, just because again, um, I think this size and this number of items is really convenient versus buying, you know, having everyone buy 50 of these in bulk because um, it did end up still costing a good amount of money since I had to buy all of these different pieces but I could sell this perhaps at a more affordable price and that would give you exactly what you're looking for. So just let me know your thoughts below and also what combinations would you want to receive or how many of each. Again this is all just market research for me. I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to do this but I am just toying with the idea. So that's all for today. Thank you again for watching. I really have just enjoyed sharing my love of mini makeup on here. If there's any other type of video content that you would like to know, um, either on these minis or anything else in my collection, um, be sure to leave it in the comments. I'll leave two other videos here in case you'd like to watch, but otherwise, bye for now.